Hey, my buddies. Welcome back, practitioners of love and light. The best of the best who reciprocate their <laughs> their positive vibes <laughs> on a norm. Thanks so much. Angels of the light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. My chakras, my auras, my space, and that of our children. Thanks so very much. Very, very much. All right, um, there's stuff stuck in my head at the moment, but we're going to release those vibes, okay? So, instead of this secular thinking, um, I'm going to use Romantic Tarot, because it's how it happens to be here on my altar um, in full. Oh, I, I do have the Shaman Tarot as well. Hmm. And we'll go ahead and use the dream inspirational cards, okay? We're going to find out with this, like, um, I don't know, pick a pile reading what this person, this love interest, this, uh, this crush interest, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Um, uh, this interesting interest. <laughs> thought the thought of you or us the last time they saw us you know could be physically or electronically or whatever okay what is what is their energy to us what did, what did they think the last time they saw us let's start with this okay so crystal number one is this okay they're all gonna be like aqua aura little points here can you see it very well you can't really see it but whatever you vibe with okay i have tar stuck underneath my nails because i was just um i just came from the beach a little bit ago and um, I didn't realize there was tar on my feet, so I started scrubbing them. And now they're on my nails. Fantastic. I don't understand, but that's okay. I'm, I'm just realizing it. <laughs> so there's that. Okay. Oh, so that's group one. <clears throat> group two is this one. In fact, let's see if I can do it real quick. Group three. Oh, shoot. Okay. I guess I can't. Can I do it? I don't know. Group three. You can't really see it. Gosh. Annoying. Group three. Do, 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 do. Group. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's group three. Okay, so this is group one. In fact, let me see. Where's another like light that I can show for it? Let's see here. Group one. Ugh. Do you see? Is there? Can you see? I don't know. Group two. Group three. Okay, again. Group one. Group two. Group three. Now, group one, what did your person, your interest, your interesting, oh. <laughs> um, most interesting interest, what did they think the last time they saw us? Most interesting interest. <laughs> What did they think of us a lot? Okay. Oh 
Okay. That's quite a bit though. Holy smokes. They think a lot of us. Okay. Mm. <sighs> I this is not supposed to be a lengthy reading. Can we just pull one card from here? Holy smokes. Okay, let's try to summarize this. Okay. Um they see that deep down we're um very, very intuitive um beings. Um, we're strategists where we really analyze everything, every single detail just on the down low. Mm -hmm. And they can tell by the assessments we make, the questions that we ask, um, um, just through simple dialogue, simple interactions, one-to-one, -one, they know, they know. Okay. So they thought about that. And, um, so they're taking note, but they also see that we take note of, um, like, uh, not only are we accountable, but we take personal, like, accounts of our situations, um, so, before they even become situations, and I think that's part of the rationale, they see that we have some kind of, like, strategic feline and energy, so very independent in our movements, you see, and, um, instead of a monkey mind, we have a monkey tail, you see, <clears throat> so very much growth mindset we go in the swing of with a swing of things um so that means that we don't necessarily judge i mean we discern the movements that we make but we don't make judgments upon them so we don't like bring ourselves down for um certain decisions that we have to make um it's all part of the plan um it's character development as like the head depicts like the bottom of a flower you know the budding of it <clears throat> So they, they, they know that there's a lot more to us than what um, we divulge. In fact, more than what we actually see ourselves. So um, they also, um, the two middle cards are like almost, they're all like kind of naked. <laughs> um, so there are thoughts about that. And oh my gosh, their feet are almost like hooved. So there's a little bit of like the, they think that <laughs> the temptresses are like, I mean, we've got a little devil in our step. It's crazy. There's something about how we move that is almost like the devil. So very much temptresses or tempting is what um, the the thoughts are um, right at the core. <laughs> the surrounding is um, an elaboration of like, gosh, you, you, it's, un, it, I mean, all of these cards are unmistakable, but this is um, <clears throat> our interest, the most interesting interest um, is able to see all of this in scope, but there's something um, very stark within the, um, aesthetic view of it, that it's at the core. It's like, you, you, unmistakable. Um, but something about, um, like a massive input of the mind, because both are similar. You see the, the structures in the head. <clears throat> one is like masked um and the other is um but both are able to see their situ you know they're able to see more um based on those um two different um frames of um being okay what else on our toes there's something about when we're on our toes, something like, I don't know, they went, they like the way we are when either we're high strung or physically like on our tiptoes. Okay. That, I know that means something for me, but that's, um, <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely are liking the, your frame, mm -hmm. 
Definitely. Um, <clears throat> and there's some kind of... Um, if you are a feminine, um, delicate um, way in the way you handle your, like, your your limbs. There's precision, but, like, there's grace. There we go. And if you're masculine, there's, there's also a masculine attribute to this, which is um, great strength within control. Like, um, it's not movements in haste. They're controlled slow movements oh my gosh what the frick that's crazy okay um all right um and the last two cards what they thought is that um their thoughts of us is that you fit in we fit in <clears throat> to um our overall vibe like we could sit at a table together and like enjoy stuff you know together right um that it doesn't kill the vibe it's part of it and um it can only go up from there because of you know the flight you know um they also like our shoes for some reason i mean our choice of shoes you know some i don't know what a, what else is there they Um, they also like that we um, are able to accept new challenges and uh, just go with it. Okay, so that's group one. Let's get to here now on what our most interesting interest thought of us the last time they saw us. Okay. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse, and the King of Swords upright. Mm. You know how they say, like, opposites attract, but, like, in the same suit, it's kind of funny because <clears throat> it's like he had, <laughs> that's funny, if it's a masculine, um, okay, like, you can just switch it according to how you would most likely understand this, okay? But what I'm seeing here is that um, the King of Swords um, feels that they have the right of way or the upper hand in... Um, hold on, hold on. Let me just see here. Because <clears throat> there's something about the opposites attracting, meaning that um, there's different ways in which we carry our sword, right? Um like a gunslinger, right? There's, there's certain ways in which we maneuver, um, <clears throat> with our weaponry, okay? With our resources. And so just because one person does it one way and another person does it another way and we get through the same points, um, there's pluses and minuses to that. But to have that within the same suit is very interesting because you can see the pros and cons and the give and take and how we can learn from each other, etc. So this bounce off bounce back energy is a hidden ten of cups in between it's like just in the rising so this making of this understanding of disharmony and being able to move away from the noise um the combined efforts of of that <clears throat> from kin energy um is easier is is able to be upturned easier to achieve in some the ten of cups together this absolute happiness. But right now, there there's um, some kind of discord and some kind of, like, white noise in between the two. There's some kind of... I don't want to call it... It's not chaos. It's just disruption. You know, like, hiccups in the energy. Like, oh, um... Just... Things that, um... Just don't sit right, 100%. You know, and, um, so, I, hmm, that's what they thought the last time that they saw us. Okay, that's a summary of that. <clears throat> Very much kin energy, thought 
energy, air sign energy, um, in, in those vibes. So what is it? Gemini, Libra, I forget what it is. Um, Aquarius, I think so. No, I, I, I know it's Gemini, Libra, and something else. Is that right? <laughs> anyway, here's the last two. Oh, yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Death card. So, um, <clears throat> this is definitely, um, I would say, um, a prominent learning opportunity. Like, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. I'm getting 1013 also for angel numbers. Um, yeah. Like this is a, this is a very good investment, but, um, means that we would have to say goodbye to old ways in order to turn it up for the absolute transformation. So it's, there's like a make or break type of deal here, um, within the transition. Mm hmm. You either make it or you break, break it. Like, um, and in making it, like, you know how they say you make a break for it kind of that, that's, there's that too. Um, like expediting the energy, like willfully, like going along with the plan. All right. So that's group number one. Yeah, that's what our most interesting interest thought of us last time they saw us group number two crystal oh dear number two if you vibed with that <clears throat> what did our most interesting interest think of us the last time they saw us spirit what do you want to say about it oh okay um Hmm. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Um, you know, like how birds of a feather flock together. Well, it was in reversal. So there, they saw that they see that we are very much unlike any other flock that they've met. Um, very much of an individual, just different, a different breed. Same species, different breed. Yeah. So there's a chiseling out of the man in the making, basically, or um, like entrepreneur in the making or business in the making, something of that sort. But it's re in reversal. So um, it's saying that we've already carved ourselves out to who we already are and that's sufficient it's enough it's um already validating in its point like what you've already chiseled out your vision is seen already um because the last card is an absolute jackpot they felt they, they feel like they cashed in they feel like they've or, like cashed out <clears throat> that um they almost hit like a landmine that this is a wonderful like, um, they also see that we're very giving, hmm. generous. Um, they thought, um, they were very thankful. That's what I see here. Okay. To have a come across us, almost angelic like energy. You see the back? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Like that we don't know who we give to, really. Um, and that our roots are very obvious. Mm -hmm. Almost like a starfish, see? Just like chilling out on the surface. Mm -hmm. Like um, without worry to being harmed. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what they thought of us. Our most interesting um, interest thought of us, okay? Okay, so let's elaborate on that. Anything else you want to say on that spirit for group two, this particular crystal, our most interesting point of interest. What did, what did they think of us the last time they saw us? Uh, seven. 
um, that we gain a lot of traction, that we move forward despite whatever life hands us, whatever we come across, um, pretty thorough in, in mindset um, and delivery. Like we just keep going. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like slow and steady wins a race also. Um, but they would also like to hop on board too, kind of like a hitchhiker. Mm -hmm. But they would also like to take you on, too. Interesting. No bull. Or yes bull. Maybe some a little bull. <laughs> um, okay, a magician energy. Okay. Um, they see that we have tricks up our sleeves, too. Um, that we're multi-talented. Um, very good at what we do. So charming that we can pull off a show. A magician is not just about the practice, but sometimes also about the show and what's not seen mm -hmm. so it's uh giving spotlight also to the shadow not just the shadow of the person but the shadow of the tricks so, oh, hmm. we have some very interesting interests here <laughs> um one two three four five and a half tassels are showing here oh wait no no Mm, about six tassels. I don't know. Six of wands energy. Anyway, um, uh, there's some um, concept of an all access pass shining down below right here. Like, um, you know, one of those escape routes where you can um, click the button or pull the rope and um, a trapdoor will um, emerge from somewhere. And that's what it looks like for the pentacle um, because it's shining there. It's by the base of his feet and um, it's larger than the hat. So this is kind of like an all axis pass where it also disposes of um, certain energy like on a whim at a moment's notice. So they see that they thought like they um, that we have that power. Mm -hmm. That's what they thought. And Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm. Um, they s they thought <laughs> part of the I don't know. Like I don't see this as like um, there's some <laughs> there's some ugliness to us. Like we can get really ugly when um, when we need to be. Um, so there's some kind of like thug energy where we like sit back. We're not going to micromanage, but um, there's something about it where business will be taken care of for sure okay and i'm i'm going to be stepping away from it because this is the witch of the deck right here mm -hmm. now in reversal that could mean many many things so um they could um um receive what's due from us if they overturn us mm -hmm. that's what that's that's what they thought mm -hmm. If they do something to draw us back because um, her dress is the same as the curtains. Mm -hmm. Like, show's over, buddy. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. <laughs> um, they see that they thought they didn't realize how attractive we would be in person. Or how we are. They didn't realize how attractive we were until the last time that they saw us. What? The? Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Hmm. Okay. Anything more that um you want to say about this? Interesting. Group 2. What did they think the last time that they saw us? Eight of Swords in Reverse. Um, we saw there's an area of redemption where we were freeing ourselves from something um, that was causing decay and demise, eventual demise. Mm -hmm. We were freeing ourselves from that, or that we are freed from it. We were and now are freed from it. So the maintenance of that is still like holding strong. 
Okay. That hit um, the chariot card in reverse and my water bottle from a different deck. Um, this. Okay. So um, it's like one thing leads to another because it's it hit the chariot card in reverse on the um, ancestral tarot. I don't know why I still have that there, but I think from a previous reading. Um, and it hit my water bottle. So um, one thing leads to another. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they thought <laughs> the last time they saw us. Okay, now, group number three. What did our most interesting interest think of us the last time they saw us? Or what did they think the last time they saw us? Hmm? Nine of Swords in reverse. Mm. Oh, I forgot we were going to do the other. We're not, they're not going to sweat it. Obviously they were sweating it before, but they're not going to sweat it. Okay. That they're, they're not going to lose sleep over this. Like whatever it is, they're not going to lose sleep over it. Okay. So what does our most interesting point of interest, what did they think of us the last time they saw us? That was totally out of order. Um, Mm. giving upon giving upon giving upon giving you know it trickles from the top that's what it looks like here there's like machinists that are machines okay um but it's a reversal so it could be like um on in the underground that's what they do like that's what they thought about us in observation but it could also mean that like it's so what is it um um it's like rage against the machine um why can't i um uh killing in the name of i don't know why that's that's what we're getting here Okay. Anything else? Oh, anything else from this? Oh, they, <laughs> they see, they thought like we have like a very, not one track mind, but like very fat on fast forward. It's escalated to the next level. There's no fear of like jumping forward to the next, you know, like what, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of excitement here, a lot of energy because it's, it's, it's constantly jumping to the romantic tarot. Like, okay, like, okay, so got it. Got the situation. What's next? So, um, they were definitely critiquing us. Definitely. Even as we set the tone through interactions on blast, you see, they were definitely, definitely critiquing us in some like, not just as self, but what everybody else thought of us. That we catch a lot of attention as well. Um, hmm. Definitely. Um, and, um, just as grounded as they and their community are. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Kind of like the new kid. Hmm. Okay. Okay, any more from that before I move on to the Romantic Tarot Spirit? Very good, three. In most interesting point of interest. Okay, last one. Okay. There's something about, like, being initiated that we cannot speak of. Yeah, we've already been assessed 
This is the last part of it. There's, I can't talk too much about it, but it ties into pile one. But definitely, especially being like tatted here with the dragon spirit and like the needle that's doing that. Same energy as the sword energy, which draws into pile one. Um, and then if you're looking really at the wings, um, this draws into, um, does it, yeah, it draws into pile two. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, definitely. Um, so I can't talk too much more about this, but things have already been assessed. Um, and it's a secret initiation based on, um, our vision, what we see. There's something that unique that at least I know that I can see. It's very different from how others see it. That's, that's why we're drawing in a lot of attention. Interesting. Okay. Anything else, Spirit, that you want to elaborate on? Um, what did our most interesting points of interest think of us the last time that they saw us? Hmm. Oh, that's quite a bit altogether. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Strength card in reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse, and um, the Fool card. So again, a lot of wings surrounding that. It's almost like uh, kind of like put held on a pedestal, like a spinning plate, you know, on a on a pole right there. So it's like the chalice energy, but um like very much um kind of like trickster energy so it's very much more like the magician um it's foolish to be standing on something like that thinking that you could balance with all of this like craziness going on so <laughs> yeah definitely they see that we're um kind of like the mad hatter because there's teacups there i just realized too um yeah so that we're very much crazy our energy is crazy and um, that we're able to um, deconstruct um, kind of like there's a sense of like vulnerability um, when you know that you have to go through strength training. OK, so um, that's what they thought the last time that they saw us. Um, like, have you seen those magic trick rings where there's a series of them where um they're all connected, but there's a certain way in which you can release them. It's some um, figuring that part out of how to like, let go of certain things, like let certain things break down mm -hmm. and not care about who's like laughing or spectating in the background, even if it's people that you once or would like to impress once tried to impress or I don't know. I think you, they grew weary of that, like being under scrutiny, constant scrutiny to gain access um, via impressing people. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what else do we want to say here? So very much strength training um, in the mental agility, like the focus, the strength, like just getting to that place uninterrupted so that's what they thought about us um and nine of pentacles in reverse it's independent happiness but it's in reversal so um they they thought that things that make us happy may disturb some other people there's um i just noticed this three six nine yeah nine spotlights here and um they're about to walk into all of it so that, oh, you know what? They see that this kind of a connection would upset um, at least one person, a female, older female energy. Do you see that? See, everybody else is minding their own business. They could care less or whatever. Like, um, but they're about to walk into the spotlight and there's this one person that's disturbed. So um, there's something about... Do 
keeping it hidden. I don't know. That's what it's saying. Like plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. It's like plus nothing plus nothing. Okay. So, um, so there's healing in this. It's not anything that's bad because the nine of pentacles, it's abundant, whether it's, um, like planted in as seeds or, um, already in growth. So there's something budding there. Okay, bottom of the deck, I'm told. Oh, yeah, it's Ace of Pentacles in reversal. It's pocketed energy. Spirit's on with that one. Yep, bets are in. Okay, so I'm told to pick the middle of the deck, like um, cut the deck for the middle, the, um, group two. It's destiny <laughs> in reverse. It's um, the uh, turnaround mm -hmm. about to happen. And then group um, one is going to be the top of the deck. It's a devil card. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So um, very much distracting energy. Yes. <laughs> but to keep us on point, like get serious now. Okay. I heard um, um, Beastie Boys, like when I say get serious, it's like get busy, y'all. Um, what is it? They say something like Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. Oh gosh, what is it? Uh, I'm gonna have to find it. Okay. Anyway, let's get some banana grams. I just wanted to keep this short. I'm not supposed to divulge too much. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm an excellent reader. And this is not fear of, like, scaring away energies. It's just, like, kind of private, yeah? All right. Okay. What fell down there? It's I and then down here and... Okay. L, T, whoops, A, T, T, S, N, E, R, Y, T, N, E, K, A, T, M... A I P O N. Make time, Tina. Pony. Snake. Mm -hmm. Steak. Okay, we have Trina, Nina, Marie, Maria, Marina, um, Norlis, um, Stan. Mm. What is that? Um, there's manta, like a manta ray, but there's manatees, M-A-N-A-T-E-S-E. -E. Yeah, that they think that's a it's like a dolphin, kind of like that, a por a porpoise. Um, Lisa, Selena. Raylene, Renee, Ronnie, um, Tron, Akira, or Kira, um, Pat, Peter, um, Kat again, K-A-T, Kate, Katie, um, Nate, Lena, Alina, Stalin, Sk 
skinny. Staple. Um, yearly. Oh no, there's only one Y. Um, so I guess year. Tamika, Tamara. Letish, no, there's no H. Letty. Um, no police, or is that right? No Paul. Mm. <sighs> mm. My life has been so weird, like seriously. I, I keep asking, like, who programmed this? What is going on? Um, okay, Staten, like Staten Island, mm -hmm. um, who else here, Ken, um, What else? Is it a manatee? Not manatees. What was it? I don't know. Okay. Is there anything else that I need to put together here? Let's start putting together some words here. Um, comprehensive to all piles, okay? Should everyone vibe? Um, opera, hmm. Mark. Hmm. Pink. Huh. Something about the color pink. Pinky Pinkerton something about the album Pinkerton Weezer I don't know why interesting okay first time I got that I can't ignore that that's huh okay um Maltese. We have Maltese here. I don't know what kind of characteristic Maltese is. I mean, I know what kind of a dog it is. Um, okay, so... Am I supposed to put that there? Because maybe that's someone's, like, spirit totem. <laughs> Specific, anyway. Let me look that up. Give me a second, okay? Type. That's trippy. <laughs> that is really trippy to me. Um, that's very particular, so I'm going to kind of leave that out. That means something to someone, though. We also have Malaysia here. I don't know why we have Malaysia here, but we do. 
あのパマラパム Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I told you. Okay. Um. Milk. Hmm. Mates. Okay. Some sort of relationship, like um. There's um. Like camaraderie there. Okay. So there's something about close proximity, like some kind of fondness. Um. Yeah. Um What else here? Trippy to me. I don't even know what to say. Um, but you know, like, at least it like gets things out of my head right now. It's good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Again, I'm getting staple. I don't know why. <laughs>、um, maybe something about the staple center or like、um, a staple meaning like a main stay, like a main thing in your life. A main form of like something that's reliable, that's like consistent in your life, like holds it together. Huh. Okay, staple. That's what we get there. Like holding it together, not just holding it down, but like it's portable. You can take it anywhere you go. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. From the very beginning, that's what they said. <laughs> okay.、Um, what else? Hmm. Tasty, what? <laughs> yeah, like really good food. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what they think of us. I mean, like, seriously, we got the double card for the first one. Door number one. Okay, yeah. Right when they opened the door, they didn't know that they were g o n n a get the devil. They're like, what in the devil? <laughs> well, come on in. <laughs> Just behave, okay? <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. All right, nine is left. Again, something about the feline energy. I think that's attributed to group one.、Um, also,、um, mine and also mini. And、uh, let me see here. No, it's nine. That's.、Um, so, like,、um, having nine lives, so <laughs> they could die and die again. 
they they risk that. <laughs> like, okay, how many more lives do I have? Okay, I'd say it's worth it. Let's... Okay. Nine is also the Hermit card, mind you. So Dark Knight of the Soul energy. Um, discovering our shadows, understanding them in order to get better. In order to improve. That is continuous improvement from the core out to um, the others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it says here. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, that's what those look like. Oh my gosh, do you see that? <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, I don't know when I, I don't know what to tell you. Because, like, that's a double card, and there's, like, two portals that are open. One looking like it's, like, open lips. Anyway, whatever. Um, but, like, you know, they're kissing underneath there, too. So, that's interesting. Um... But, you know, it, it doesn't, like, these could be, like, you know, different kind of interesting interests, okay? So, um, just thought I'd let you know, okay? You don't have to assume that it's one way or the other. All right. But now that this reading is officially over, I thank all my sponsors, all my supporters of Divine and Light and Love. I certainly appreciate it. Now that this reading is officially over, I close all portals, sending all energies back to their appropriate locations thanking you for your respect in advance or you shall gracefully accept your demise of transformation within transformation knowing that you'll get your karma because i'm accentuating all of the karmas do your way sending that all back to you sending it with you in light and love i close all portals now